Uh, my name is T. Manyati. I'm from Zimbabwe, but I reside here in South Africa. Uh, my problem, that, uh, the problem that brought me to, 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 the, to the prayer line, it was on the 8th of September, 2024. Uh, I had a problem of a headache for three months. So whenever I go to work, sometimes I hide myself for, for some couple of hours because I was having this attack, it was non-stop, like even when I couldn't sleep at night, especially when it was time to sleep, I wouldn't, when I feel like sleeping, I don't enjoy like going to bed, like in normal, 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 when you are, when I'm normal. So it was giving me a problem. I couldn't do anything and even to concentrate and it was like somebody was knocking in my own, somebody was in my head, he was like knocking on my head. So it was difficult for me for those three months. My brother, you said you were not able to sleep and um, the headache continued for three months, nonstop. When you witnessed this, which, what did you measure? you took to rectify this illness. What, did you visit a doctor or what did you do? Uh, I didn't visit a doctor, but I went to the pharmacy. They gave me some tablets. It was three packets of them. They told me that it's gonna, it's gonna help you to reduce the pain of the headache. And after using it, what happened? Uh, it never stopped. It was like the same thing. They never worked the tablets. So what next step did you take to ensure that you are restored in totality? My second option is I say to myself, this is not a normal headache and this is, a, this is, this is an attack from the enemy. So I, I rushed to prayer line and I registered for prayer line. I knew that the man of God if it's from the evil or from my mother's side, my father's side, there's no sickness that he cannot heal. So the man of God was my last option. I knew that if I don't get healed, then it means that's the end of me. So when you came to Shakana, Shakana is your last hope, not the servant of God. Servant of God is only a tool God is using to do his work. He's not the healer, but he knows the healer. So what happened when you came to Shekinah Glory of Faith Ministry? Say again. What happened when you come to Shekinah Glory of Faith Ministry? What happened? When I came to Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries, while I was sitting on the prayer line section, I could feel that there's, there's that spirit that was in me. It was telling me to, to go out of the church. Because I remember I went to the toilet three times. I was feeling like sleeping, but the pain was still going on. So I didn't know what to do. But I knew that if I can meet the man of God, my problem is going to be solved. And when you were on the prayer line, you mentioned that you went to the toilet. What prompted you to go out at that point in time when the man of God was about to pray for people on the prayer line? That was, I think it was the spirit because the spirit was telling me that no, you must go out. I was planning to go back home, but I said to myself, no, this is the work of the devil. Because while I was in the toilet, I was vomiting, but I was thinking maybe while I'm vomiting, the headache is gonna stop, but it never stopped, it was becoming worse. So when the man of God appeared on the screen, it was very, very worse, especially when I heard his voice. That spirit that was in me, I'm sure it was fighting with the voice of the, the voice of the man of God. It was fighting inside my body. It was resisting and it was telling me, no, you must go, you must go. So I was about to go home, but I just feel like I don't have the power to, to go out of this church. Children of God, you father, brother, 
It was arranged on the prayer line so that he'll, be, he'll get his healing. Let us watch our screen right now to see his encounter with servant of God when he came online. And let's ask him, what is your problem? Ask him question. Please go to that brother that is standing on emergency. Ask him, what is your problem? I've got a non-stop headache. When I'm sleeping, it's someone is knocking in, in my head. Okay. Non-stop headache. Do you hear that? When he's sleeping, as if someone is hitting, hitting his head. Non-stop headache. Okay, now, people of God, how to stop the non-stop headache? Very simple. Very, very simple. But you must have the belief in your heart. Take him up. Someone is somewhere dealing with him. They are hitting his head. That's, they want to inflict mental disorder in him. Praise the Lord. So now to erase it, now listen, I draw the power. Brother, look at me. Look at me. Distance is not a barrier. Right now, we want to stop the constant headache. Were you feeling it when you come? Do you feel it? Yes. Do you feel it? Yes. Look at me. 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 You see what is happening? Someone somewhere is using this young man. Someone is using him. Praise the Lord. There are powers using him. So to raise those powers, our Lord Jesus Christ has paid the price of freedom. He has paid price for his freedom. So we want to terminate that, 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 that case. We want to terminate that power. So right now, look at me. Look at me, brother. Now I draw power from above. And I raise that headache from you. And I nail it to the cross. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him, leave him. Thank you, Father. You wicked spirit, I raise you from his body, from his soul, from his spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I nail you to the cross. Never return to him, according to my word. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. Can I hear the saints say amen? And amen. It is done. It's as simple as that. Now you'll be wondering how. It's done. It's done. It's done. Praise the Lord. Okay. Now listen. Tell the brother to touch his head. He should touch his head. I'm free. I'm free. Touch your head. Brother, touch your head. Touch your head very well. It's gone. I'm free. Praise the Lord. It's gone. You can shake your head. You will not feel it forever. It's been nailed to the cross. Because our Lord Jesus Christ said, it is finished. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Just as the servant of God declared on that particular day that he's healed, and you can see a great testimony coming out from that same declaration, my brother, um, prophet asked you that when you came into the church, were you having the headache? You are having the headache, am I right? Yes, I was. And what happened after the prayers while you are on prayer line? What happened while he was praying for me, I could feel that something is, let, is, let, is, is leaving me. The time I was falling down, I could feel that because like what you said, somebody was knocking inside my, my head. So the time I was falling down, I could see that it's, it's, the pain is going. So um, immediately after the prayers, you were healed. Is that correct? I was healed. Let us clap for Master Jesus. <clears throat> My brother, now that you are healed, what is a word of advice? Bearing in mind that there are people who are sick who are listening to you right now. My advice, especially those who are sitting there by the prayer line for the first time, this is the place to be. That's why they call it Solution Center. Because Prophet Isaka, there's no sickness that he cannot heal in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen and amen. <clears throat> Just like we all know that Prophet Isaka is only a tool that God is using. He is not a healer, but God is using him to heal the sick. 
So let us clap for Master Jesus once again. My brother, we thank you for this wonderful testimony. And we pray that the God of Shekana Glory of Faith Ministry will protect you more and more. You will come back for more testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen and amen. Let us clap for Master Jesus.